Hi everybody, I want to do a plug for a DVD. Now, this came out in 2010. I've had this in my video collection, DVD collection, for a number of years. I've watched it a dozen times or more. I watched it again last night. It is sensational. The Daniel Project DVD. You can buy it at uh, the Daniel Project um, dot the Daniel Project dot movie dot com. I recommend, highly recommend you get your hands on it. It's a two disc uh, documentary. The second part of the documentary is a question and answer with the commentator and the presenter, the main presenter in the film, Jacob Prash, James Jacob Prash. Uh, he is awesome. He's a Bible expositor. He presents the book of Daniel in a concise, precise way that promotes the truth of what scripture says, completely the truth of what scripture says. Daniel 12, will you escape at the rapture? Will you escape at the gathering? Will you escape when God comes to deliver his people from the wrath to come? The judgments, the coming trumpet and vile judgments. Will you escape the wrath? Daniel chapter 12. And the video is entitled, Only the wise will understand. Only the wise shall understand. Just like it says in Daniel Chapter 10, uh, chapter 12, verse 10, sorry. Wow, sensational. If you want to understand the times that we're in, remembering that this DVD came out in 2010, and we are now in 2016, and you will ask yourself serious questions about what I present on this channel in regards to the days of Daniel and their actual fulfillment. I promote on this channel that we are in this covenant made with many week, that this week began in 2009, that this week finishes in 2016, and then the beast Obama is given power to continue for 42 months, a further three and a half years, a further 1260 days, they're all one and the same time period. That is not popular teaching from the Bible, but is correct teaching. It is the correct teaching, and in the last few days I've shown you that Obama's numbers the number of, his, number of his name can be found within the days of Daniel's prophecy. T counting 1260 days and 1335 days equates to six years, six months, six days with 216 days left on the clock. One overall arching uh, number of his name to the, to, the, to the whole time period. Not the whole time period, this, the, the covenant made with many, Daniel 9.27, the week. And then a breakdown of the 1290 days in the last couple of days. 1290 days is 666 days plus 408 days plus 216 days. If you've watched my channel seriously and you've seen everything that's been done to the Blood Red Moons by the Obama administration, everything that's been done by Obama himself and the Pope, you know, 216 weeks separating the two men's inaugurations, Pope and Obama's 2009 and the Pope in 2013, it's undeniable when I've suggested a million times, go and watch the movie Pi, get the movie Pi out, Darren Aronofsky. And, uh, you know, the writings on the wall, this is the actual fulfillment of Bible prophecy that's being fulfilled by the Antichrist and the false prophet, Obama and the Pope, Pope Francis, and the establishment global caliphate, if you want to call it that, the New World Order. So guys, you know, if you want to escape, and Jacob Prash is the one of the best Bible expositors teaching the truth of the scriptures rather than a mainstream established uh, media circus church message because that's what it is or organized religion being Catholicism and Judaism the uh, they're false as well absolutely false in their representation of the scriptures in their representation of the Holy Bible and what it actually says, as opposed to what they want you to believe it says, it comes down to wicked men telling you. So in that verse 10, it says, all those that have not wisdom and understanding of the last days will be counted wicked. That's pretty full on. Pretty full on. Comments. Wow, I never get comments. I get a few comments from regulars. I get... I'm happy with the views, but 
you guys are just silent. You know, you're silent because you don't agree with me, or you're silent because you don't see it, or you're silent because you 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 know you 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 want to. You think that the the scripture's playing out some other way, or that it's not what I present is not true. Why why is why why no comments? I'd rather people slander me than just silence. At least I can debate you. All right, I'm not going to read. Thanks for listening.